Hello friends, welcome to this session. Before we begin, I want you to observe these two images given on the screen very carefully. Could you relate to it? So, what is the topic that we are going to address today? Yes friends, it is the technique of making notes. It is our notes or study materials that we first search for during our exams or any class test. Many students find reading concepts from textbooks or other reference books very boring and they tend to borrow notes from friends at the last minute. But why do that when we can make one on our own? Making notes is a process which requires dedication. But believe me, it makes learning and understanding topics a lot simpler. Plus, writing things down will help you remember it. Your notes could be a wonderful tool for revision, especially for your exams, as it is personalized. And the most important point is that you could be relaxed. You don't have to panic while preparing for your test or any exams. So let's begin. The first thing which we need to do is gather all the note-taking materials. I would then suggest you to read the chapters thoroughly and try making a concept map of the topics or subtopics involved in that chapter. This is like summarizing the chapter and finding connecting links between the topics. It will also help you to make sure that you are not missing out any topic while studying. From the next step starts the actual process of making notes. Note down all the important concepts and definitions. Here again, don't mindlessly copy the exact lines from the textbook and write the whole thing. Only the main ideas are to be taken. And try framing it in your own words. Use short statements, symbols or abbreviations wherever possible or needed. Try color coding things like write the definitions with blue ink, key points with red ink and the remaining topic with black ink. And friends, please don't make it over colorful and waste a lot of time. Just use the minimum colors. You may highlight, underline, circle or put a box to give extra emphasis for any points. I repeat only the important points, otherwise there will be only boxes and circles in our notes. It is not always necessary to have things in written format. We can represent answers diagrammatically or by using flowcharts, tree diagrams, wherever possible. This would be part of your visual memory. Just by remembering the diagram, you can relate to the whole answer. Okay, for the subject of math, note all the formulas and arrange them chapter-wise. Along with this, if there are any tricks, logical points for understanding them, you may note them down. The same applies for the theorems. Now for the subject of history, where dates are to be remembered. You may relate it with some events and note them down separately. And friends, always remember, like if you are writing or framing an answer, please do it in three parts. An introduction, main body and a conclusion. Introduction could be something like a line or two describing the whole concept. Middle part will have the main answer. Try writing it point-wise and then a concluding line, okay? And I would also suggest you to make notes on an A4 size plain or ruled sheet over a notebook as you can file the sheets chapter-wise and if needed, you can add or delete them. Still, if you prefer using notebooks, you may leave few extra pages after each chapter for any additions to be made. Alright, so here we conclude our session with an important point that our notes should be comprehensive that it must include everything that is needed and are relevant. Yet, it should be a condensed study material. We don't want to replicate the textbook again. Our notes should be short and sweet. Okay, so friends, I hope the session was useful to you and from now on, you will make a habit of making your own notes and for the people who are already doing it, please continue with that. Uh, if you really liked our session, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any doubts or queries, please post them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's do it. Make it easy.